What do you mean by adverse drug reaction? Adverse drug reaction is nothing but the any noxious or undesired effect of drug when used for prophylaxis, diagnosis or treatment. So any noxious, any abnormal, any undesired effect of drug that is nothing but the adverse drug reaction. So for example, ideally if you are taking paracetamol to relieve the fever, so paracetamol should relieve your fever only, it should not produce any other reaction. Now if paracetamol is producing acidity, so that is known as an adverse drug reaction. Okay? So any noxious undesired effect to the drug that is the adverse effect. Now pharmacovigilance is the branch of that uh, pharmacology which deals with the study of adverse effect. What do you mean by side effect? Side effect normally is a predictable. So if you increase the dose of drug, that is a predictable. So side effect means it is predictable and may or may not be extension of pharmacological effect. For example, dryness of mouth caused by atrophy. Untold effect means undesired effect produced by therapeutic dose of drug. For example, if you are on treatment of diuretics, that means diuretics will increase the urine formation. So along with the urine, it will excrete your sodium and other ions. Potassium loss due to diuretic, known as untold effect. Then uh, again, what do you mean by toxic effect? Due to high dose of high dose of drug. For example, respiratory depression caused by morphine or effect toxicity caused by arrestamol. So toxic effect. It is dose dependent. What do you mean by intolerance if, if a drug is not tolerated in your body? For example, if you take any drug and start vomiting and all that, so that is that means your body is not tolerating drug. That is intolerance. Again, you see the types of adverse drug reaction over here. So it is very important if you come to come. So what do you mean by type A? Type A, A for augmentation or A for augmented. That means it is an extension of pharmacological effect. Type A adverse drug reaction are nothing but the extension of pharmacological effect. As it is an extension of pharmacological effect, you can predict that. So it is a predictable and dose dependent. So dose dependent means if you increase the dose, you will get a more effect. For example, hypoglycemia caused by anti-hyperglycemic drug or hypoglycemia caused by insulin. Suppose that drug, uh, your physician has prescribed you a 10 international unit of your, your uh, insulin. So that will decrease your blood sugar level up to normal. But if you take 20 international unit of that uh, insulin, that will decrease more glucose level. That means they, it will cause hypoglycemia. So it is a dose dependent predictable. Type A, A for augmentation. Now type B, these are all idiosyncratic, right? So it is unpredictable. Pizer means unpredictable suddenly. Okay? So unpredictable and dose independent. For example, allergic reaction to penicillin. So if you take a penicillin in a dose, so not for every patient, but there are certain people which are allergic to penicillin. And if you don't know, if you use penicillin in such kind of patient, they will start developing anaphylactic reactions. So it is unpredictable and dose independent. So 1 mg of penicillin will also cause same thing and 10 mg of penicillin will also cause same thing. So B or Bizer, Bizer means unpredictable or it is also known as idiosyncratic reactions. Type B, they are also known as idiosyncratic reaction. This is the question. Then type C, C means C for chronic effect. So if you use a drug chronically for a period of uh, longer period, that means for example, if you use this uh, analgesic antibiotic for longer period, that may cause peptic ulcer. That is due to chronic use of drug. Type D means type D adverse reaction is D for delay. So they are not you are not getting this kind of adverse effect immediately. It is delayed. So long term adverse effect. It is a long term adverse. For example, teratogen teratogenicity caused by teratogenic drugs, thalidomide, then pinetoin, carbamazepine, and all that. So teratogenic effect of drug that comes under the type D adverse reaction. Remember, this is the question. Type E means after treatment effect. So sudden withdrawal of some drugs may cause withdrawal symptoms. Sudden withdrawal of alcohol, you may get alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Sudden withdrawal of morphine, you may get withdrawal symptom of morphine, known as a after treatment effect. F means failure of therapy. So A for augmentation, B for pleasure, C for chronic, D for delayed, E for after treatment effect, F for failure of therapy. You can correlate these terms. So they can ask you a question in either direct, okay? What do you mean by type A adverse direction? So one of the following type of adverse drug reaction is a predictable and dose dependent. One of the following drug adverse drug reaction is a known as a idiosyncratic effect. One of the following drug adverse ADR is a unpredictable or non-dose dependent like that. Or they may ask you by giving the example like peptic ulcer caused by chronic use of NSAID is following type of adverse reaction. 
Demi either or demi either ask you, they will give you different type of adverse reaction in one column and they will give you examples in the other column. They will find, they will ask you, find the correct match with their respective examples of adverse reaction. So such kind of question they may ask. You see, uh, classification of adverse reaction and their mechanism. So again, it is very important you can see over here. So different type of adverse drug reaction and their mechanism. So adverse drug reaction, there are mainly two types. Predictable, you can predict them and unpredictable, you cannot predict them. So these kind of adverse drug reaction, they are more dangerous. So unpredictable, so they, you may develop idiosyncratic reaction. Idiosyncratic reaction means they are due to genetic defect. For example, hemolysis caused by chloroquine, the patient which is deficient to glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogen. Then again, unpredictable type of adverse drug reaction also, cytotoxic or fluoro allergic type of reaction. And they may be have allergic type of reaction, allergic hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity type of reaction. So in case of allergic hypersensitivity, you have different subtypes. Type 1 allergy, known as immediate allergy. Type 2 is known as auto allergy. Type 3 type of allergy is known as complement mediated allergy. Type 4 is known as delayed or cell mediated allergy. So this is nothing but the types of adverse drug reaction and their mechanism. We will see the mechanism in the detail. For example, type 1 adverse drug reaction. So type first allergic reaction. It is known as a type 1 allergic reaction known as immediate type of allergy. So drug or whatever chemical or drug, so that act as an antigen or allergen. So that drug will combine with the mast cell causes degranulation of mast cell and will release the inflammatory chemicals will release the histamine leukotriene prostaglandins which will cause vasodilation, peripheral vasodilation and bronchoconstriction. So, so if it is localized a particular area ke upar agar hai, to usko bolenge uteric area, uteric area and allergy localized area. Now if it is severe form of allergy known as anaphylaxis, known as anaphylaxis. So this was a type 1 allergy. Now type second allergic reaction to the drug known as auto allergy auto allergic reaction. So in this case drug which is a normally not an antigen. It is a not an antigen normally but this drug when it converts into body it will convert it into body to allergic uh, or allergen. So normally a drug jo hai, a allergen nahi rata hai ya phir antigen nahi rata hai aur ye jab body mein jake metabolism hota hai uska to uska metabolism hone ke baad mein wo antigen mata hai. So normally in this case drug is not allergen gets converted into allergen or antigen in the body when combines with the tissue and then against that antigen antibodies are formed and antigen antibody reaction will be there and it will cause release of inflammatory matrix. Manifestations of the disease such as thrombocytopenia, purpurea, hemolysis can occur. Drug calling causing autoallergy. Example, examples the quinine, methyl dopa, chloramphenicol. So these kind of drugs they can cause allergic reaction type second allergic reaction or auto allergy now type 3 allergic reaction type 3 allergic reaction so they are known as a complement mediated allergic reaction complement mediated or complement fixation so in this case your drug may act as a antigen and uh, again that antibody will be formed and it will combine with the antigen and antibody so it will form antigen antibody complex so that antigen antibody complex will be deposited in the walls of small blood vessel in the vascular wall of blood vessel and then there will be activation of complements and that causes allergic inflammation in the tissue release of the stomach and all that so manifestation of this is like glomerulonephritis and serum sickness caused by several drugs so glomerulonephritis and serum sickness it is adverse effect of many drugs and it is type of type 3 allergy now type 4 allergy now type 4 allergy fourth type of allergy Fourth type of allergy is known as a cell mediated or delayed type of allergy. Now cell mediated means what? So it is mediated by T lymphocytes or other cells. T lymphocytes, T lymphocytic cells. So type 4 reactions or type 4 allergic reaction known as a delayed or cell mediated allergy. So in that you have idiosyncratic reactions. So local manifestation like allergy or contact dermatitis, idiosyncratic reaction like uh, if there is a genetic defect that will determine the abnormal reactivity to a chemical when when the bad chemical will be ingested by that 
Now, for example, basic defect of this is nothing but the genetic cause. Genetically defect of that. For example, some patients are deficient with the glucose 6 phosphatase, glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme. Some patients are deficient with the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. Now, in this case, those patients which are deficient in the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase, so in this patient, if you use some kind of drug like chloroquine, sulfonamides, and all of that, which are basically oxidant. So if you use those kind of drug in the patient which are deficient in the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, that causes the hemolysis. Okay, that causes the hemolysis or breakdown of RBC. Such kind of reaction they are known as a type 4 or allergic type 4 allergic reaction or delayed type or cell immunity allergy. So what is the mechanism in that? So those patients which are deficient of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase. जो भी पेशेंट में ये एंजाइम डिफेक्टिव होता है या फिर ये एंजाइम नहीं होता ठीक है ग्लूकोज 6 फॉस्फेट डिहाइड्रेशन उन पेशेंट में अगर आपने उन पेशेंट में अगर आपने जैसे ऑक्सीडेंट ड्रग लाइक फाइमोक्विन क्लोरोक्विन नेरेडिक्सिक एसिड क्विनिडीन सल्फोनामाइड्स इफ दे आर यूज्ड दे प्रोड्यूसेस द हीमोलाइसिस ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ आरबीसी नाउ व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म इन ऑल इन दैट हीमोलाइसिस so if the, there is a deficiency of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase in the RBC, if one patient may get glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, RBC may be there. So what will happen? So what is the role of this glucose phosphate dehydrogenase? So it will reduce glucose to glutathione. Now if, if this enzyme is absent, there is no reduction of glutathione. So adequate glutathione will not be produced in the patient who are deficient in the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, what is the role of this glutathione? So it causes the reduction. It causes the reduction. Okay. Now your hemoglobin, okay, whatever hemoglobin you have, so hemoglobin will have normally ferrous ion. Okay. Normally hemoglobin will have this ferrous ion, okay. Fe double plus. But due to deficiency, deficiency of that glutathione, so glutathione ka deficiency only karan, aapka hemoglobin ferric banta hai, Fe triple. Plus. So, if there is deficiency of glutathione, your hemoglobin will have more ferric content. Ideally, it should have ferrous content because ferrous content will will uh, ferrous content will carry oxygen. Ferric content will not carry oxygen. Once your hemoglobin becomes ferric, then it becomes useless, and then RBC becomes susceptible for oxidant. So, agar aapka reduction nahi hoa ferric ka ferric ferrous mein, so aapka RBC kya banta hai? susceptible for oxidant drug like chloroquine, primaquine, okay, naledic acid and then it causes the hemolysis. So, subject develop hemolytic anemia. That's how there is a mechanism of allergy.